Joe Mahalik not interested. You can see him get ready defensively. That's all he cares about. Drexel trailing this one by 10. Feed the niece their nice look. And the former Boston College transfer with the bucket. And that's seven for Niesler. Niagara doing a great job of fronting the post down there. How do you get around that as you bring the opposite side big up high, which clears out any help on the backside. That's great execution with a nice soft pass over the top. Gillette, little jump hook won't go. Spencer the board. And a turnover for men. And again, Niagara just does not have the size to match up down low. Still hasn't really been a huge factor in this one. A fadeaway for Williamson air ball, but guess who with the rebound? Bilal Ben. And he's got a dozen. Has it knocked away? And Bilal Ben will go to the line. Night UCLA and Cal State Fullerton a game high 12 rebounds and make it 17 now for Bilal Ben he down low to Spencer who lays it in Leon Spencer with just seven here today he was a big key for Bruiser Flint but spent most of the first half of the bench in foul trouble. And notice Gillette now is out of the game. You see how much easier it was for them to get it inside to him. The weak side help was a little late there as well. Harrison, nice look down low. And the layup from Kashif Edwards. Eight for the sophomore from Philadelphia. Robert Garrison so good with the basketball, so patient, lets the double team develop, and then a nice little drop-off pass to Kashif Outwards underneath. That pass intercepted by Garrison did a good job helping and stepping in. And now a steal the other way. Thomas up ahead to Coles. Misses, but Thomas is there to put it back. So Garrett Thomas... The freshman from New York City with 11. And the always intense Bruiser Flint looking up. Coach Mahalik over there yelling at Robert Garrison there, saying, keep it simple. We have a big lead here. We can't afford those cheap turnovers. Anthony Nelson slowing it down a little bit. Shot clock. Nelson pulls up. And that doesn't hit the rim, but a follow by Ben, and he can't put it home. Nelson there with big Niesler out there on him. Instead of settling for that jump shot, he's got to put his head down and get to the basket. The front end of the one and one is good. To be aggressive defensively, but he bumped into the offensive player, and that's how Thomas got to the line for those two free throws. Thomas with 13. And a little bit of pressure from Harris. Anthony Nelson handling again. Niagara without Ty Lewis, their outstanding senior guard, led them in scoring last year and was the defensive player of the year in the conference. He's out with an injured Achilles, suffered that, played only nine minutes in their loss at Auburn. At the Gallagher Center here in Niagara Falls. And Ben using the window can't get it to go, but the rebound is 14. Good clock management right there. You can see Bilal Ben in the attack mode wanted to go back up with that, but his guards tell him to get it back out and run something. Let's run some clock. Smart move right there. And slowing it down. And the junior going to work under 10 on the shot clock. Backing down. And he's fouled. Three throws here. For a foul. It will be Clemson and Liberty. Long rebound and a big rebound. Kashif Edwards. And that really hurts Drexel.
Well, it gives Niagara an extra possession to be able to run another 35 seconds off the clock. Just no one boxing out on the free throw line. You gotta have your guards come down and take away those long rebounds. In favor of Niagara, so they've been able to get the offensive rebounds and turn them into buckets. Sir, Niagara came out, executed their game plan by fronting it down low, and they, as you said, they did a great job of going to the offensive rebound. Loose ball gathered in. Niagara comes up empty. And tracks the ball. Holds. It's a three. A big three from Gerald Cold. So away from the basket, giving them two free throws. Pressure here and handled nicely by Ben and Nelson. Niagara into the front court. Neesler stepping out to pressure on Ben. Ben makes it tough. He can handle the ball. He's got some size to him. There's really a guard, and Neesler is the forward center, so it's really difficult for him to get any pace. You want to see if your defense can get a stop there and go down the offensive end of this deficit. A make there after Niagara had missed four straight free throws. Duke Blue Demons. So by five, Niagara on top. And a long three missed. Rebound by Gibbons. Can't put it back. Weren't able to come up with any baskets, and that's really hurt them in the last two minutes of the game. There's Harris weaving his way to the basket. And with that bucket, a four-point game with 35.2 seconds left. There's a few of them here hoping for a late comeback. Lots of pressure, and they get the foul. 78% free throw shooter last. Out there that making a couple shots, a couple block shots, and rebounding the basketball to get his team back in it. 18 points for Rob Garrison. And a six-point advantage. Coles gets a three. <laughs> That's really been an effective play for them. Lots of pressure right here. Ben looking for some help, tried to save it. Trexel ball. <laughs> Niagara's got some pretty good free throw shooters out there on the floor. Thomas looking to inbounds, finds Coles. Coles going to work on Nelson. The kick out. And the three is short. Rebound Gibbons. Stepped on the line there, John. He was trying to get that basketball, try to pass it to one of his teammates, but in doing so, the referee thought he stepped on the line. Inbound to Ben and Colds fouls him. Team rebounds really made his presence felt in the second half. The ability to go to the offensive boards and the hit transition baskets. He's got a, just a well-rounded game. Clemson and Liberty coming your way next. A three from Harris, off the mark, Garrison the board. And they'll get the foul with .8 seconds left in this one. I was back in the game, and Rob Garrison, I felt he was the guy who ignited some offense. For Garrison gets them both. And that'll do it. The Purple Eagles with the win.